Step one is to factor everything that we can factor. Okay. Step two will be set the denominator equal to zero and then solve for those points. Okay. So factor everything and then set the denominator equal to zero. Solve for points of this functionality at those points. It's basically just solving what you factor. Okay. Anytime we factor, we set it equal to zero and then solve for those points. That's what we're doing here, except it's in the denominator, so it shows us where we can't have a zero. Because we can't have a zero in the denominator, we can't divide by zero. cancels with the top and then there's gonna be some stuff after this so I'll go ahead and put it up so, okay. let's put it all up right so if a point cancels with the top it's called a removable discontinuity aka a hole okay. I like to remember this because it's removable if you can remove it from your function okay. so basically the top uh, it's on top and bottom once we factor we can cancel it out that's removable Okay. Removable shows up as a whole in our graph. So the removable would look something like this if we had some kind of function going along, right? And then we have this little hole, and it continues to move. <coughs> That's our removable discontinuity. It's a hole. It's a hole in the graph. If a point does not cancel with the top, then we have a non-removable discontinuity, and that is an asymptote. How we get our asymptote? something for this pump here. It's been a while since we've used this. So one formula where we turn the right x minus 2. Mm -hmm. It's difference of squares? Yeah. Yeah, difference of squares. We're going to use difference of squares here. Okay. This is where we already have an x squared, but we want to be able to rewrite this next one as a square. So we can rewrite it as 2 squared. 2 squared is the same as 4, so we can write it like this. Difference of squares gives us that the top would be x minus 2, x plus 2. The difference of squares gives us. And the bottom is still x plus 2. And they cancel out up here? Yeah. yeah. X plus twos. Okay. Let's set that bottom equal to zero. Let's do that. Okay. X plus two equal to zero. We set X in the denominator of two. Do we have points of discontinuity here? Yeah. Yes. Where at? Negative two. Negative two. Can't have negative two on the bottom. 
Is it removable or not removable? Removable. Removable, why? Because um, we hadn't had one yet that was removable? No, I don't have a reason. I just. It's canceled out, right? It's canceled, right? Yeah. It canceled, right? X plus 2 is canceled without X plus 2. We could remove it out of the function, therefore it's a removable discontinuity. That's how I like to remember it. So we have removable discontinuity at x equals negative 2. Okay. What's that make our domain then? Except all real numbers. But x cannot be negative 2. What did we do one today? We did section 8.3. We started and then got up until this part here. So if you just want to grab a note from somebody, it's not. It's not, it's not. We're going to do it with this bell ringer. This is an example we finished on and then we'll kind of move on. Um, so we were looking, for those of you who weren't here, and as a reminder, for points of discontinuity, right? Points where the graph is discontinuous. And we found that by looking at the bottom of our function. Right to the bottom of that first part A, we had x minus 3 times x plus 2. I mean, we had points of discontinuity when we solved that at x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. Okay. These points of discontinuity uh, in the bottom of our function give us vertical asymptotes. So now we have vertical asymptotes at x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. Okay. They are non removable or removable? Non removable, why? Because you can cancel out. Because you can't cancel them out. Right. Yeah, that x minus 3 and that x plus 2 doesn't cancel with anything, so it stays there. It's not removable, which gives you the asymptote. Because right. for part B, we have x plus 2 and x plus 7 on the bottom. Well, x plus 7 is cancel out, giving you a removable discontinuity, which is what? In the graph. It's a whole. It's a whole, yeah. So removable is a whole. But that x plus 2 doesn't cancel out, giving us a vertical asymptote when we solve at x equals negative 2. That's basically the whole section up until this point. So if it's removable, it's not an asymptote? Yes, if it's removable, it's just a whole. It's like, I like to think about it as like if you have this function here, it's kind of like going, right? And you have this hole right here, you're literally removing it and putting a hole in it. But negative 2 is a vertical asymptote, right? Negative 2 is a vertical asymptote because it doesn't, it's not removable, right? Does she still have fish? Uh, no, I mean, oh, and then one year her students brought her fish. This was at her new school with Cameron. Her students bought her fish and bought her fish tank and everything, and they named each fish out of, after each other. Like, they all named one of them. One of them died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got him? Yeah. We're going to jump in and do some examples. Okay. This wants to find horizontal asymptotes for the graph of these. Now, we don't actually need to graph them to find those horizontal asymptotes. We just use the rules that we just wrote down. Okay. So for A, we have y equals negative 4x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. That's our sum. So we're looking at the degree, the highest degree for the numerator and the highest degree for the denominator. Okay, so we're looking at our x's in both of those. What's the highest degree in the numerator? One, right? This is a point, right? So we have x to the first, that's the highest degree. What about the bottom? One still, okay? So we have, those degrees are both equal, right? What's that telling us from our chart? What's that saying? Ratio of the leading coefficients, okay? So to find, since these are equal, the leading coefficient here is negative 4, and on this one is 2. Okay. Okay. That's where our horizontal asymptote is. Now we can reduce this, right? Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative two. Okay. That's where our horizontal asymptote is. Those degrees are equal, so we just take the ratio of those. Okay. This happens at y equals negative. What about, what would you do with the plus 3 and plus 1? Can you just leave them? They don't, nope, you don't even need them. Not to find horizontal asymptotes. 
Define vertical, you would, but not horizontal. Listen, I think this is my fifth year of college. Because I went out here and transferred and I had to take an extra year for my education. Yeah. Yeah. I think in my five years of college, besides when I had to dress up for like, my education stuff, I might have wore sweatpants every single day except for maybe six. Because like, people just don't care. Like you get to college and they don't care. Yeah, no one cares. I'll be very good if I'm not in my class. Mr. Stewart, have you taken college chemistry? Yeah, I took two classes. Okay, do I need to take chemistry first? Yeah. Really? Oh, I love my high school chemistry or college chemistry classes. Mm -hmm. I almost switched to chemistry. So I have to say. That goes to would you take it at OUE? Yeah. Right. Miss Hopkins told me. You can me, take your professor out there and pick Dr. L. She is great. Miss Hopkins told me that that person is great and this shows in the beginning, but Miss Joseph says that we need to start here. So. I would probably do so. Because I took my junior yeah. chemistry class before I went. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 when you get out there, they expect you to have some kind of background knowledge before you get out there. Get out there and Catch yeah. up. Uh, this will be about bringing a birthday because we did it only one crafting one yesterday and it was kind of goofy. So, if you guys want to give this one a shot and then we'll talk about, you guys need crafts, right? I gave you crafts yesterday. No, we yeah. didn't. Yeah. Did you get that set up yet? Huh? Did you get that Hannah's here, right? Yes, yeah. sure. Hmm. That's Mr. Donahue. I know, Mr. Donahue.